if your bridge is completely off your instrument, um, you should know how to tell which way it goes on the instrument. So um, in most cases, there will be a parchment um, that helps to protect the bridge from the string tension of the highest string. So violin, we're talking E string, viola, and cello A string. Uh, by the way, this all applies to cello too. It's just a little bit bigger. Um, so we can take a look at the alignment of your bridge. The first thing to do is just have enough string tension to hold hold the bridge in place, but not up to pitch. So I have just a low amount of tension on this now, and we're gonna check the placement. In most cases, where the bridge belongs on your instrument is going to be centered between the inside notches of the F-holes. So the inside of the F-holes here, notches should be on a line between those two. And um, it should be straight across in this direction, parallel to the line of the nut. Otherwise your fifths are going to be off. So look at it between the, standing between the notches and in a straight line across the body, parallel to the nut. In most cases also, the bridge will be centered on the fingerboard. So you will have equal amounts of ebony showing on the outsides of the outer strings. So you can do two things. You can sight down the fingerboard like this and take a look at the amount of ebony that's on the outer sides of the outer strings. You can take a look at where the bridge is in relationship to the fingerboard, or you can look at it head on like this and look in this case too to see if the strings are centered on the fingerboard. So from here, if it's standing, the other thing we should look at is whether it's upright in this way. Um, so I'll talk about that next. 